Welcome to Artigo's Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about the clear neutral. We get a lot of questions as to what does the neutral do and how do we use it. Okay, the clear neutral is the base component of all of the its color color. So inside the tube of the clear neutral is a non-pigmatized tube of conditioner. So what we have in here is the lipophilic and hydrophilic proteins, B6, B12, coconut oil, jojoba oil, tsubaki oil, and argon oil. So this is a conditioning agent for the hair. Now, what it is also used for is, as an example, if you have or you need a level 7 and what you have is a 6 and an 8 most of the time what people do is they'll mix equal parts of 6 and 8 to get a 7. Well all colorists know it's not equal parts doing this simply because of the pigment density. You get to a level 7 you have more yellow in it and you get to a level 8 you even have more yellow in it than you have in a level 6. So what we did at Artigo is we solved this problem because most designers do not do the one-third, two-thirds rule when they are mixing sixes and eights to get a seven. So now, with the clear neutral, if you take equal parts of six and clear neutral, then you'll have a seven because you're only one level away from each other. You're not jumping two levels at a time where the pigment mass and the molecule changes. Also, we use it in conditioning the hair after we've colored. So there's no more soap caps. Now, if you're coloring hair properly, you're not pulling a lot of color through the ends of the hair. And you're not pulling color through every time. But from time to time, we do need to refresh it. So this is how we refresh the color, make shine and condition the ends of the hair all the time. Now, one of the reasons why you don't use soap and water is because the two biggest enemies of hair color, fresh hair color, is soap and water. And what is the thing that hair gets exposed to the most between appointments on coloring? Shampooed every day, water every day, this leaches out color. So when you have a fresh color and then you put equal parts shampoo or something into it, and make a soap cap, you're not refreshing color, you're actually washing some of the color out. And you're certainly not closing that cuticle layer and trapping color in, and you're not refreshing it with real conditioning color. So what we suggest that you do is that you take equal parts of the remaining pigment in the bowl with clear neutral mix it together and work it through the hair. Now, if you know at the beginning of the service that you're going to be doing the color refresher, then make just a little bit more product. If you do not and you just want to do a color refresher, now you're going to be kind of light on product, aren't we? Now we have created a zero developer. Now the zero developer works like an extender. So now what you can do is you can take the equal parts of the pigment in the bowl with the clear neutral, take the zero extender, make more product, and then comb it through the ends of the hair, leave it on five minutes, so now you're getting a color conditioner, a color refresher, all at the same time. Now here's a tip. Some salons charge money for the color refreshers, and they do them at each quarter. Every time we do a color change or we go from uh, winter to summer, now is the time to do a color refresher. Not every time. Some people charge $25 for a color refresher and other people give it away for free. Just depends upon the cost of your product, the cost of the service, and the client and how you want to do it in your salon. So that's totally up to you.
but it does make for beautiful color, gets rid of all lines of demarcation and any uh, fadage you may have gotten over the winter or over the summer, either one. Now, let's talk about another unique factor. Now remember what we said, if you take equal parts of say a, a 6 with the neutral, not natural series, the neutral series, okay? Then what we're going to get is a 7. Now let's just take this and be a little bit more creative. The most popular color in the entire country is a level 6 tint retouch with a foiled highlight on top. Now a lot of times we don't tone the hair and a lot of people ask me about toner and what should we use for a toner and can we use a semi-permanent for the toner, gel colors for the toner, whatever. Which you certainly can and we'll be talking about that in the future. But I want to give you colors a unique idea on how to tone the hair and actually create a client for life by having your own special formula. Now, a lot of times what happens is, is that people color the hair and then bleach. When they take out their foils and they dry it, they'll see that the porosity on the bleached hair is more damaging, of course, than the hair that hasn't been bleached. So we try to condition and tone and make it all look together in a real synchronistic pattern, don't we? So let me teach you how to make your own unique personalized toner for this client. So, if equal parts or one to one gives us one level lighter, let's think about our toner now. So, if we have six in our bowl, we do equal parts, okay, one to one, we get the seven. Now, what if we do two parts clear neutral to one part of the level six, what do we have? We're going to have an eight, aren't we? So if we take three to one, we're going to have a nine. If we do four parts of the clear neutral to one part of pigment, then you're going to have a 10. If you do 5 to 1, now you're up here at 11. And what you have is just a whisper, a whisper of the tone that was in the remaining pigment in the bowl. So now what you have done is you've created a custom toner that nobody could ever match, can they? And you must explain this to your client that you are customizing a formula for them. This adds value to your work. This adds value to you as a colorist. It builds your reputation, builds your business, and certainly will bring you more clients. So I want you to try this. The next time you have an opportunity to do a highlight and toner, and or if you run out of the product there in the back bar that you need to make your colors, you now know that you can make custom colors. So, on behalf of Ortego USA, I want to thank you for watching this week, and we'll be back next week with another tip. Thank you.